With 91 seconds on film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. While mostly operating on romantic comedy autopilot, what happens in Vegas manages to entertain through the sunny charm of star Aston Kutcher. The plot is painfully contrived, with New Yorkers Kutcher and Cameron Diaz waking up married after a drunken evening in Las Vegas, tied together by a fortune in slot machine winnings. Diaz is a jilted go-getter who sacrifices herself to please the world, while Kutcher is a slacker unwilling to make an effort and risk failure. In an attempt to inculcate the meaning of marriage, a judge, played by Dennis Miller, refuses to grant the mismatched pair an annulment, sentencing them to six months of wedded misery. Malicious, sometimes funny hijinks ensue, eventually shading into inevitable happiness. The two main characters are so stereotypical they might have been molded on an assembly line, and significant editing problems undermine the narrative coherence of the formulaic plot. Diaz plays her part adequately, and Rob Corddry does a bit better as Aston's best friend and incompetent lawyer. Kutcher, however, invests his character with such a zest for life that he manages to rescue the viewers from competent tedium. During a warm summer day picnic at Diaz's office retreat, Kutcher's good-humored antics were so appealing I was longing to attend the event myself. You could safely let what happens in Vegas stay there, but if you found yourself involuntarily tied to the sofa for an hour and a half, you could do worse. With 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. 91 Seconds on Film can be heard Thursday and Saturday at 2.20, Friday morning at 9.20, and Friday afternoon at 5.20.